This month of March, another new month. Each time there is a new month, a new day, a new week, there's always an opportunity. Opportunity to do what we didn't do last month, this month. What we didn't do last year, this year. What we didn't do last week, this week. What we didn't do yesterday, today. So there's always an opportunity. So no one lacks the opportunity to make a redress in his or her life. The word of God is for our profiting. Can you repeat that? The word of God is for our profiting. Oh, with how we need to understand this so strongly. The word is for our profiting. See what 2 Timothy chapter 2, or chapter 3 rather, verse 16 to 17. He said, all scriptures is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness that a man of god may be perfect thoroughly furnished unto all good works doctrine reproof correction instruction for righteousness and i tell you young people here we need instructions even our own lives as adults we need instruction when we follow instruction, we don't suffer destructions. And that's why we need God's help in every way. A wise man said, those who walk, walk with common sense. And those who run, run by principles. And those who fly, fly by instructions. Can I see a flying eagle in the making here? All right. So instructions makes us to fly academically, makes us to fly. Like we had the testimony of um, Ige here, and I believe they are already on a flight, finding solutions to the issues of the world. And many others, in diverse ways. And I believe that God will keep putting great ideas in both faculty, staff, and students of this university to keep giving solution to our world. Can I hear an amen there? Amen. So the word of God is profiting. Look at it. Hebrews chapter 4 and in verse 12. For the word of God is quick, not only quick, and is powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and to the joint and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intent of the heart. But we can only draw profiting from the word through spiritual understanding. Spiritual understanding. This is one area that will require spiritual understanding. Many do not have spiritual understanding, in fact, of what goes on in covenant. Many don't have them. And that's why they walk through the streets of this place day after day night after night not understanding the purpose and the reason of this whole setup like i often say and i'll keep saying this is not a private school god is working out something out here for his glory and for the praise of his name we need spiritual understanding. Genesis chapter 13 and verse 14 to 15. And the Lord said unto Abraham, after Lot was separated from him, lift up now thy eyes and look from the place where thou art. Where? Northward and southward and eastward and westward. For all the land which thou seest, to thee I will give it and to thy seed forever. I'm going to give it to you and your seed. But all the land which you see, many look and are not seen. Because it's not enough just to look, but you need to see. Not to just hear, we need to understand. And may the Lord help us to have seen eyes and hearing ears. Oh, can I hear believing amen there? It's not just to look, but do you see? 
I'm looking with, towards this direction right now, but who can I see? And everyone in that direction believes that I'm looking. In fact, there are some of the time you will ask, uh, maybe I will ask some persons and said, ah, I've not seen you. you say, ah, but I was sitting in front now. Okay, how come that I was, he was sitting in front? Did because well, I was looking in that direction, but I didn't see him. So don't assume that, oh, because you are gazing in a particular direction, you can see. Don't assume that you are in Covenant University, you are a student already set for graduation that you can understand. There are many things you have not seen. You've been looking at them, but you are not seeing. You don't have the understanding. There are many things you are hearing and you don't have understanding about. Look at one man in Acts chapter 8. They call him the Ethiopian you know, and look at it. He said, And the angel of the door spake unto Philip, saying, Arise, go towards the south, unto the way that go down to Jerusalem, unto Gaza, which is the desert. And he rose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, an eunuch of great authority, ordered the Chaldees, queen of Ethiopia, who had the charge of all her treasure, had come to Jerusalem to worship. That's Acts chapter 8 from verse 26 and I'm 28 now. Was returning and sitting in his chariot, reading Elias the prophet. 29. Then the spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to this chariot. Go near, join thyself to this chariot. Faculty and staff, this is a word for you. There are many of you who came here because God gave you this instruction. Join this chariot. God gave you a word. Join this chariot. You didn't come to Covenant University because you came by chance. You came because you were told to join the chariot. But what? It's not just joining the chariot. Look at what it is here. Join yourself to this chariot. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Elias and said. He joined the chariot. He saw a man reading. But there was something understand that what thou readest that was the Ethiopian eunuch he was reading but there was no understanding understand that what thou readest and verse 31 and he said how can I accept some man guide me how can I accept some man guide me and he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him and verse 32 and the place of the scripture which he read was this he was led as a sheep to the slaughter and like a lamb dumb before his shed he opened he not his mouth and in his humiliation his judgment was taken away and who shall declare his generation for his life was taken from the earth and the eunuch answered philip and said i pray thee of whom speaketh the prophet this of himself of some other man then verse 35 then philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture come on say same scripture the same scripture and preached unto him jesus join yourself to this chariot but hello understand that what thou readest understand that what then is happening understand that why you are in the chariot but do you have understanding of what's happening out students god told you or god moved you into this university for a purpose but on this, do you really understand what is happening here many don't understand sir many many don't understand what is happening here many don't understand I was talking with one of our professors yesterday. We were having a chat and I said, Sir, there are too many things here we need to go. We need to understand the moves of God. We need to understand why this. You see, go and read the mandate and everything concerning this commission. And you and concerning this university. It's more than just guarding a group of persons and all that. We should have understanding. Understanding. Like I shared, I said, listen, the industrial revolutions we have seen in all parts of the world 
China or Asia, let me not put China, Asia have their peculiarities. I don't know them, I'm sure there are quite a number of our faculty who have, please let's look at the Asians and study their lifestyle. The Americans have a lifestyle. In fact, the Europeans, United Kingdom, Italy, every one of those one-time world powers, let's go and check them out. Some of us have studied them. Check out their moves and check out everything, including the spiritual awakening in those locations. and come to the continent of Africa. I said something yesterday, I think. Until we are able to understand the things that have happened there and how it has had impact on their society. And by the grace of God, we are able to surpass. An average Asian is a hard worker. Hard workers. Many of us have gone to Asian countries. They are not jokers with their work. We have one of them with us here. They don't play with the assignments. And then we have seen impact in everywhere. Go to America and check American companies and their concepts. America didn't just emerge as a world power. Europe did not just emerge as a world power. Everybody says in Europe they are conservative. No, if they were, if if they didn't have such conservative lifestyle that deserved to get to somewhere, they would have not conquered the world. Many know uh, they say in Yoruba, you don't have friend in London. You know why? Anytime you are telling somebody in UK that you are coming, the next thing is calculating his light bill, is calculating his is a is a what they call it now light bill all manner uh -huh, because your visitation faculty am i saying something here yeah? uh -huh, so there's no they are already telling you that uh, the no <laughs> number of my bill is going to increase so they they even ask you how many days are you going to spend if the british man never had a conservative life he would have not been able to reach to the world small island but great ability Go round and round and round the world. You will find it. Every one of them. We said here now, China is the largest producer of quite a number of things around the world. But they are maybe the least users of them. They know how to control themselves and sell it around. So they make business of it. Understand that what thou readest? How can I except some man guide me come on say some man guide me now and listen to me we need the guide the, the, the first principle of guidance we need is the word of god hello with every now listen you will get angry from now to tomorrow you if you don't have understanding of what is operating there are students here, you are in 400 level, you are 500 level. You just get every time, get frustrated over, okay, they are stressing me over this. They are doing that because there is no understanding. And there are some individuals who are working in this place seamlessly. I mean seamlessly. They can perceive the virtues. They understand the dynamics of what works. They know how to take advantage of it. Now, I'm going to share a testimony by one of us faculty here who came to my office on Sunday and said, sir, what are these children saying? I don't understand. Before you know it, I've heard one, two. EIE is very difficult. This department is very difficult. I've heard 300 level. This place is very difficult. This place is very difficult. But excuse me, I just graduated just some two, three years ago. 2017, 2018. A class of, uh, I don't know what the number is. I want Dr. Azul to read something there. And uh, 23 first class. And 59 two ones. All of them. Ha. In this same school. So what is happening? And it's the same department. But you see, that same department that he stepped out from. Something has happened or something that was happening then. 
It's not happening now. So they are beginning to see barriers rather than see a way through. Now, please, can you come and read? The, because I told him to document. So, in fact, I'm sure everybody, there's no, me, I have, I just want to have evidence. There's no, please, can you read this thing quite clearly? Everybody listen. Cost, just a part of it, yes. Cost to reprogram EIE as electrical electronics engineering. That, that, that. After everything, I decided to be his assistant at 200 level. I always had this saying from Bishop David Oedipo in me that you are not better than a robot if you continue to do the same things as the previous leaders when given a leadership position. And at the end, there's nothing to show for it being in that position. When I started a position, ideas started coming to me in the Holy Spirit-inspired Holy Spirit inspired ideas. Number one, Facebook page was created to help to transmit information regarding the course and also course materials. Number two, I got all their emails, 19 in number, and I started sending them notes or any material needed to help them in any way possible. That 19 in that class. Yes. Good. When we were, of the class, continue, sir. When we were in 200 level, we had an executive within the course, 13 in number. Every Friday, we interceded for the course, came up with ideas to move the course forward. Hold it. Every Friday, we interceded for the course. So, uh, academic reps, I hope you understand. I'm give, going to give you this paper. Uh -huh. Intercede. They are, not, they are interceding for their class. That's the place. The root base. Prayer. Continue, sir. In the same course, we had positions such as president, vice president, secretary, PRO, welfare, treasurer, tutorial master, course chaplain, etc. During one of our meetings, an idea came from one of us. Why can't we solve past questions and upload it or send it to our course mate? It will idea came from them. Why don't we solve past questions and send it to our colleagues? Yes. It will assist anyone while reading. And for those that do not, do, for, for those that do not, it will help push them to read. Good. However, this idea gave birth to something much bigger. Good. The Holy Spirit all, always inspires ideas in, in, in my mind, in, in my, uh, always inspires ideas in, in my inside on what to do. Mm -hmm. Snap the past questions, scan them, and then send them to your course mates. The past question during my time was a very big deal because it contained all the courses we did, not just a year, at most times. Create a Google Drive where all these past questions, the solved ones, notes, and materials will be uploaded to. Like I said, this gave birth to something much bigger. It brought us together and the improvement started. The idea did not end. It continued to the end of our stay here at Covenant University. Continued. Can you see? Three solid consecutive years. Some people had the target. There was a synergy together. Understanding had turned on them. The platform of spiritual understanding and also began to engage themselves together. Yes, sir. Every year from 300 level, we the executives came together, picked more people that we know are good in class to help solve past questions. People who were good in class to help solve past questions. Yes. They can lay their hands on, and the ones we can and, one, and the ones we can find, I gave them deadlines of submission, which most of which most often was done at the set time or the week before the exam of that course. Mm. Tutorials were heard by tutorial master. Tutorials were heard by tutorial masters. Yes. And the tutorial was not just held in class, but also continued in the hostels. Class, hostel. So all the nonsense. Not, please, this is not the time to laugh. I'm giving you. The, the, Host, there are those tutorials, right now. tutorials are holding, I know these are going on in some locations, but not as much as it should. Not as much as it should. When these children, you form a block, you can wipe out. You will see, we'll get to the conclusion and see what this resulted into. Continue, sir. The female held their tutorials in their common rooms yes, almost female. every night every at the night. same time as the males. Good. What gave us strength was not just tutorial, but also prayers. What gave us strength was not just tutorials, but also prayers. But also prayers. But also prayers. Give me understanding. And I shall. Continue. Sir. We also had course fellowship, where everyone in the course comes out to pray once every semester. Good. In 2018 set of EEE, -E -E, yes. a total number of 23 first class, 59 second class upper, yes. 20 second class lower, mm -hmm. and third, third class were recorded. Good. But none of my classmates 
fell under the second class, lower or third class category. All the glory to God. None of my classmates were in two, two or third class. So the 90 young people there hit the bullseyes. Why? They understood what makes things work. 90 in a class. And they captured everything. So what are you doing? Tutorials in the class and in the hostel. Girls aside, boys aside, there's a synergy of health. You know the confusion of many now? <laughs> you just say, okay, I want to be on my own. I want to understand it. I want to do that. I want to be on my own. Your own, your own, your own. You have not achieved it. Understand. You know one thing here, says faculty. I know God is here. I I don't know that young man. He's one of the faculty here or GA or whatever. I don't know him, but I don't know why this last Sunday. I think he worshipped with us here. He just filtered to my office and shared the testimony. You know, and when I get things like this, because there are things we ought to be promoting. I have been hearing tutorials, one but not as much as we should. I, I, I can't even imagine that, okay. Because talking about having a zero failure rate in Covenant University is possible. Possible, possible. We chase away failure from this campus. And how? The solution is just given to you. So 300 level student, 400 level student, 500 level student, come awake and chase away the devil away from your departments. Prayer is not only in this chapel. It should come in your hostel. It should be in the class. You should be the one to tell an unruly person, will you shut up there and sit down? Yes. Students should control students. Council, can you hear what I'm saying? This way, students, there is no one lecturer matter inside. Understanding. So they weren't praying for chaplain. Neither were they praying for, for vice chancellor. They were praying to see progress in their lives. 23 first class. So why is it wrong for 50 persons to have first class? Nobody is holding anybody. But if they would do what is required, I think Dr. Adu shared with me there was a class of microbiology that said they don't need individuals in this school. That they have covenanted to God that they will not cheat. Abby? Microbiology class, I don't know what year. You are aware, ma? Which set, ma'am? Second set. What, what, what are we talking about here? Second set of this university, microbiology student says they don't need anybody. But you, you need every gadget. <laughs> yes, sir. They will need to put a uh, uh, camera, put men, put... <laughs> God will deliver us. But come on, there's a change here. Somebody is receiving a seed of destiny right now. A class is receiving a seed of destiny right now. That after this meeting, you will call yourself. Maybe you are 90 remaining in that program. I mean, same matric number, same year. You will call yourself together. Know who is lacking in that class. And begin to look at ways to prop that person up. From hostel to class. You don't see him in class. Oh boy, what happened to you? What's happening to you? What's your problem? Looking for ways. To help out. That's what we are talking about here. When I have 300 and something persons in probation, sir, in this university we can knock it off completely. That it is impossible to have failure in this place. If you came to fail, the spirit that is at work here is against failure. It will move you to succeed. Can I hear an amen there? So, listen, look at this solution now. It has nothing with, to do with faculty or staff. It has everything to do with every student that is looking at me now. That young man came and shared that, and uh, that gladdened my spirit. That gladdened my spirit because he's, he's a, okay, microbiology student, then, second set. Yeah. So why, why didn't he continue? Spiritual understanding of truth is what we refer to as revelation. So what am I trying to bring about? Spiritual understanding of truth is what we refer to as revelation. Psalm 119 verse 18. Come, he said, 
open down my eyes that I might behold wondrous things out of the law. Wondrous things. And 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. He said, in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel, who is the image of God, should shine upon them. Covering. I decree that every covering over the lives of individuals here shall be shattered in the name of Jesus. Every believer needs to pray for spiritual understanding. Those guys had spiritual understanding. So they started tutorials with prayers. They had consistent time to pray for their various causes. And the synergy they made brought about that. I remember Dr. Azu also shared, there are some of the times, when you sign for tutorials, you don't come late. You don't come late. You don't come late to our tutorial. You don't come late. There's no... no you, you are a lot to yourself. Because if you come late, the student that is teaching them, you will bring them back. They've, they, everybody is at zero knowledge somebody is trying to improve then why, why will you come late so there will be seriousness all this play play nonsense you don't have time of this and time of that you use 20 hours on browsing nonsense and you can use it and put yourself understanding understanding I pray that every face of the covering that has been casted over you shall be removed in the name of Jesus Every believer needs to pray for spiritual understanding. Colossians chapter 1 verse 9. For this cause, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to the desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. In the knowledge of his will. And look at Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 17. That the God... Of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. The eyes of your understanding be enlightened that you may know the hope of His calling and what is the riches of His glory, of His inheritance in the same. Understanding. The reason why many people are in where they are is because they don't have understanding. Now, you see, sir, with every due grace. You know, I understand what the use of this pulpit is. That's why I don't play with it any second. I'm given a privilege here. Yeah, I don't have a right, sir. I can be switched off from this place once and I'm off. But I will never play with this altar because it's a place of counsel. I will never play with the altar because it's a place of the word of God. It's a place of light. 30 minutes or one hour on this altar could solve solutions in 500, 8,000, 7,000 people's lives. So it's not the place to play. It's a place to set the mind of God for the hour. And see destinies come forth. How many people will have time to come and meet me in my office? Okay, even if they come, do I have the capacity to, to run it? But God has given me the privilege to stand there and speak to thousands of persons. So it can't be messed up. It can't be played with. It must be a season of inspiration. A season of breaking through. A season where the light of God's word will have access. Please have understanding. And faculty, please have understanding. Your pulpit in that class, which is your teaching point, has something it can do in the lives of these people. That's the privilege God has given you. Just as he has given me mine. As I'm standing here, I choose not to play with it. Every believer must learn what it takes to access the prophets in the word of God. Matthew chapter 11 and in verse 28 and 29 said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy living, I will give you rest. And what happened? Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Come and say, learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart. And ye shall find rest for you. So learn of me. Learn of me. Learn of me. S students, learn of him. And when you learn, you find rest. So all through this month, we'll be looking at the subject, unveiling the wonders of spiritual understanding of the world. Wonders of spiritual, come on, say spiritual understanding. Unveiling the wonders of spiritual understanding of the world. So you will need to understand the world. Now, what is the pathway to revelation? 
That is spiritual understanding of the word. I'll mention some few details and we shut down. Pathway to revelation. What is revelation? Spiritual understanding of the word. Number one is this. Crave access to the word in your area of interest. Crave access. Come on, say crave access to the word in my area of interest. As our faces differ, so our interests differ. And God has placed men like the Ethiopian eunuch to, re to reveal to us what we do not understand. I tell people, the reason for various translations of the Bible is to help to push your understanding to some level aside from the place of the help of the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is there as our teacher, but translations are there to also give us an edge. When you read in Living Bible Translation, when you read in Amplified Bible Translation, there are some, some things. Look at Proverbs chapter 23, I think about 23 to 24. It said, through wisdom is a house builded, understanding, establishing, knowledge, fills it with good and precious things. Now, Living Bible is saying, every enterprise is built by wise planning, becomes strong through common sense, and profits wonderfully by keeping abreast with the facts. When I put those two things together, there's an understanding that is done in that I need facts in able to get anything to move forward. So Craig, there's an area of interest. Now look at what the scripture said, Isaiah chapter 55, verse 1 and 10 and 11. It said, oh, everyone that tasted, what do you, come ye to the waters, that ye that had no money, come ye, buy, eat, yea, come, buy wine and milk without money or without price. I like this scripture because this was the scripture I used to marry. Oh, I used, this scripture just came. When I was praying, oh God, I don't have money. When I saw this scripture, my eyes be like pop out. I didn't know that scripture knows there are some people who doesn't have money. All right. So what do I have to do? I'm telling you, Isaiah chapter 55 was my scripture for marriage. The day I located it, I was very happy. So I now started looking at it. And look at it. Look at what verse 10 said. For as the rain cometh down, and as the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it to bring forth and bud, and it shall give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. And verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper. Where to I sent it? Interest. 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 So listen, we need to crave access to the world in areas of interest. And there are many. I brought all these books here today. It, you see, the knowledge of the Lord, Lord shall cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. Today, with a touch of a button, you have access to things that will show you. Thank God for all our professors and faculty here. Now, a professor in biochemistry, a professor in microbiology, they, they, they are custodians of knowledge in that area. For a graduate assistant or for an undergraduate of 500 level to now be messing around and think, excuse me, you can think you know something in some areas, but that area, come on, say that area. Hey, that area, that person is an authority you need to understand. Now, hello, in this world today, when you pick the subject of faith and the subject of kingdom prosperity, don't you think you have somebody you should listen to? Everything. We have something to listen. That's why I tell every Covenant University student. Now, if you leave this institution without the heritage of faith, Thank God for any degree that you have. But you have missed many things. Because the greatest treasure is what we are talking about. Now, somebody says, I don't know how to study my Bible. Look at this. Guides to effective personal Bible study. Guide. It's there. It only needs you to pick it up. And now get a guide on how to read. Now, this one says, rule your world. So your world does not have to rule you. The world wide web does not have to rule you. But you can rule your world. Can I hear an amen there? This one says keys to divine health. 
an 18 year old that is having high blood pressure I think he should ask himself some question does he want to live all his life on drugs or there's a kingdom way there's an escape a 20 year old that is drinking drugs every day you are not tired of it and you are not looking out for where you must have access to understand what is the word of God and the provision that the world has given for your divine health. Success has systems. So what is the success systems? What are the systems that I need in every area of life? To have a succeeding home, there's something to do. To have a succeeding career, there's something to do. There is what you need to do. The systems are there. Exploring the riches of redemption. What does my redemption carry? A man does one a denominational or whatever. What is the blessing of redemption? The wisdom that works, not the wisdom that does not. The wisdom, and I tell you, there is wisdom that works. The wisdom that works is on this ground. Remember one of the uh, one of the ex, uh, you know um, example of God's servant when the faith tabernacle was on, they got to a point where the crane that brought in that took all the trusses everything was they had done the doors they have done the pillars and the crane was trapped in and all the engineers all the est everybody was cracking their brain how will we get this thing out should we break the door should we break the column again and all that and god servant came in in that evening and asked why is what's the issue they said sir we have put this thing here we have raised all the cranes we cannot bring it out again the door is too small for this for this thing to go out and in a twinkle of an eye while just meditating and looking it just dropped oh what is the size of the leg of the of the whatever of the of the crane measured what is this place measured what is the height and he told them deflate it look for another truck outside pull it the thing out somebody said that's very simple eh? wait all the engineers that were there they were daft a bit <laughs> no. You know when when solution has been fought to some someone say, Oh, I didn't just think about that. <laughs> Stories. The wisdom that works, we can see it here. Then look at this one. Dating a biblical guide. I asked some few girls in in five hundred level, four hundred level. I asked them, Okay, how many books have you read about um, dating and marriage and all that? All of them were blushing. Sir, we have not read anything. I said, eh, okay, don't worry. I think you are going to service here. All right. Hmm. The, uh, <laughs> the gentility of a tiger, uh -huh. the wickedness of a lion. You see, there are some guys. Hey, they are inside town. I think you call them vultures, Abby. Or whatever name you call them. You know, some of them, they will just be, ah, no, no, no. Uh, this covenant university guys, and uh, they are two days, they are two days. Uh, they are good guys, so you better look for them. The ones you are going to meet outside, sugar-coated sugar lips. Oh, hi, girl. How are you doing? He said, I'm good. How are you doing? You want to have lunch with me? He said, well, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> See your mouth. You will go lunch. Lunch one, lunch two, lunch three. The guy has all manner of tactics inside of him. And the very naive girl, since he has seen a very nice guy. In fact, you know, hey, 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 John has a very good car. In fact, he carries me every time. Stupid. Is that faculty and staff? I know some of you will acknowledge what I'm what I'm saying. Some of you had it rough before you put your head in the right position. But listen, you don't need to go that route if you begin to educate yourself now. So I gave this book. I didn't have many of them. So I gave them. Read it and bring it back to me. Read it and give it back to me. Read it so I can give to other girls to read. And the boys too need to read. Because boys in 300 level boys to 500 have challenged you here. Wake up. The first, the best graduating student. I think last year was a girl, right? Was a girl. Uh -huh. So what are the guys doing for God's sake? What are they doing? Petroleum engineering. Every year. Ah! All the boys stand up. 
I'm giving you spiritual instruction. All the boys in this place, stand up, stand up. Chairman and all your boys, every boy, stand up. Except you are a girl inside trouser. <laughs> no, you know, sorry. You know, some of the time, some of this information, when they get to me, I get angry. Now, boys, boys, boys in this place. They said for how many, I don't know how many years consistent. Sis! Guys, you guys are doing well, some of you, not all. But excuse me, which mouth will you have as a young man? Girls, thank God for their lives. Best graduating student consistently. I think we need to change this graph. We are not against the girls. They are doing well. They are going to be your wives. Am I correct? Guys, I said these girls will be your wives. Am I correct? If you don't talk now. <laughs> or less. Or you see, the issue is this. You see where the problem is? The guys now I will be looking outside. The girls now, they are saying, ah, all these guys, all of them, they are not my class. I better leave them, leave them. And true, they are not their class because where, how will you marry somebody that, uh, well, forget that matter. <laughs> now, all the boys, raise your hand. I want to pray a sincere prayer for you. If you care, Heavenly Father, this is a service to impart dream seeds. I pray. Thank you for our young ladies who have done excellently well and they will still keep doing well. But these young men, I pray, as many of them that desire in their heart to do well and excellently in their academics, we decree divine grace to be released to them. We decree divine help to be released to them. In Jesus' precious name. Please guys, sit down. Watch it. Something will change in this university. We'll be having best graduating student, both male and female. Did I hear? Believe in him and there. He made them male and female. That's what God did. So guys, wake up. You see some of these data. You see, faculty. I was telling prof yesterday. I'm always interested in data. Because I will ask questions. Now, if I have best graduating girls all through for since inception till now, there's something we should do about the boys. There's something we should do about the boys. Men have the ark. Thank God for our women. But the ark of God rests on the shoulders of men. Oh, you may, you may, you may not want it. There is no gender in spiritual things. Sure, you get it. There is no gender. There is no spirit, female spirit and man spirit. Sure, you get what I'm saying. But listen and listen well. We need to prop up the male student. Please, fathers who are here, don't take it easy with those young men. Don't take it easy at all. In fact, anyone, I'm saying it, I'm saying it consciously. Anyone who is a father and you have a son or two or three, don't take it easy with those young men. Prop them, follow up, follow them up with every consciousness of your spirit to bring out something better in them. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. I conclude in this teaching now. Listen. Apart from craving for access in the area of interest, I've showed us, we must engage the Holy Spirit in our search. The Bible says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has he entered into the heart of man what God has prepared for those that love him. Aside from that, we must embark on a desperate search adding fasting and prayer and thank God tomorrow we are starting a fasting and prayer he said in Psalm 119 verse 18 open thou my eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law so when we fast and we pray God opens our eyes we must give ourselves wholly to putting the word to work and this will require in every area of our lives 
First Timothy chapter 4 and verse 13, he said, Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. He said, meditate upon these things. Give yourself wholly to them, that your profiting may appear unto all. What are the benefits of this revelation? Is sanctification. John 17, 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. What is the benefit of, of, of revelation? Number two is supernatural faith. When truth enters into us, then faith is ignited. Philippians 4, 13. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I can do how many things? I can do how many things? I have a dream that one day in this university, failure will be alien to it. Oh, I didn't hear your amen. That it will be impossible to be on probation in Covenant University. We will chase failure away completely. From admission to the point of graduation, it will be people who are full of the Holy Ghost. And this is just what is the mandate and the vision that God has shown his servant. The Chancellor, Dr. David Oedepo. Bow down your heads, people of God. Thank you.